All right, so she came in, and I got a little bit busted for a second because I happened to be wearing her tank top. But it, it ain't no thing. Everything's going to work out between me and her because at the end of this night, she's going to have a dresser made from Mickey A, and I'm going to look like a goddamn hero. All right? So, that being said, cheers to the future. Oh man, that is a tasty beverage. So welcome back. As you know, we're making a dress for Mickey A. We're going to make our old lady so proud of us. And uh, so I got all the pieces out. Some of them were off camera. Sorry, some stuff's going to happen off camera. But the important stuff, I promise you, all the important techniques, everything that's important to building a dresser for Mickey A. Oh, phone call. Don't worry about it. Alright. So, we're going to get both of these pieces here. And we're going to get them next to ourselves. Oh, oh come on now. Alright. We're going to put this over here. Oh, there's lots of little tiny parts. Don't worry about any of this. Put it to the side. Get both of these. Yeah, I got these bitches here. Step one's about to be started right now. Watch and learn. There we go. Jimmy's the toolbox. About to get started. Now let's hope nobody comes through this door, because if they come through this door, it's going to be an effing nightmare. All right? It will probably toss all of my work onto the floor and blow any chance I have at building something for Mickey A in the future because that means the old lady walks through the door. It's the only person short of the police coming in but I've only had one chalada so the majority of police probably have no interest in coming over to my place tonight. Alright. So. We need to get ourselves some certain specific screws. This kind of screw, it's got one end that looks like a regular screw with a spiral, and the other end, the other end, looks kind of like a, kind of like something, this is exactly the piece, right here. I found it, but, things are getting confusing, so I'm going to get myself a second tray to hold all the little tiny pieces. Uh, so I'm going to look for a large piece of cardboard, or paper, eh, cardboard, probably be the better bet. Well, this is the closest thing to what I want, so I'm going to have to rip it in half, not a big deal, because I'm a super buff guy, I work out all day long, I work on my regular 9 to 5 job. And the nice thing is we can crush this and make it so that it has an indentation so the screws do not roll off of it. So make yourself a nice indented area in the center to keep yourself organized. Which, God forbid your wife was here right now, but if she heard you talking about keeping organized, I guarantee she wouldn't be giving you a hard time. It's all I ever hear from her. I gotta keep things in the right places. That's not where it belongs. <sighs> but this is the kind of thing that would make her proud. But this is a secret. We ain't telling anybody any of these stories if they're a woman. Because this is how we're getting ourselves some free time away from the family. Away from the baby that just keeps screaming all the time. For God's sakes, he's got it easy. He doesn't go to work all day long, get... <sighs> he has it made. All day long, just laying in bed, looking at the mobile, above his head, while he sits in his icky a crib, sits in his icky a crib, looking at the mobile, and has the, the audacity, it's a big word, to cry. And sometimes, you need some time away from it. How are you going to do that? You're going to do that by making a dresser from Ikea. The same way you got yourself a weekend away from the house, building the crib, so that baby could cry in it in the first place. Alright, so we'll, we've got, a, we got our screws here. So, 
we need a grand total of, let's take a look at the pictures. We need eight of these screws, which makes sense, because there's four corners on two things. Four times two is eight. So, we got one. We got two sets of four, which equals eight. You probably don't think I'm really good at math by, by the looks of me, but multiplication, I got it. Addition, I got it. Subtraction, I got it. Division, it's tricky. It depends on how many numbers and if it goes evenly. Uh, if it goes oddly, if it's got like that decimal point, I'm not so good at it. So, here we go. Open up the toolbox, get out the screwdriver, because this ain't, this ain't no Allen wrench job, which a lot of people think you can get away with everything with, a, with an Allen wrench. Not cool. Sometimes you need a screwdriver. I got one that goes on one side, it's a Phillips head, which is like a star, and the other side it's a flat head, which is like a minus sign. So what do I need right now? I need the one that looks like a star, which is the Phillips. Uh, true story, Phillips... Uh, they call it a Phillips because uh, a guy named Phil made it, and, uh, and uh, the full name of Phil is Philip, and uh, when you make it possessive, it's Phillips a screwdriver. So he came up with the star sign. It gives you a little bit more traction so you don't strip a, a strip of screw. All right, so let's take a look at the picture. Oh. All right. It's tricky, but what we got to do is we have to stagger these screws. There we go. Let me flip this upside down real quick so you can see a little bit better. Uh, there is a big hole and a small hole. Okay, hold on a second. We want to put these into the small holes. You might not be able to see it, but they stagger it. That's very nice of them. I think it's because in the big holes, there's going to be dowel rods. So, yeah, and there's one small one here and no big holes. So we're just going to put that one in there. We're setting them all up. We're getting them all semi-ready to be put in their holes. All right. Okay. Let me go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I completely made a mistake. You need 8 times 2, which is 16. You can trust me in the mathematical works. Uh, because actually, it's more than just the four corners. Every tiny, every single one of the tiny holes, you're going to put one of these screws in. So, I need to get myself 8 more of that same thing. Alright, so let's take a look here into the old screws. Oh, God. That doesn't look good. That does not look good. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight more. Alright, so this should be, in all technicality, all of these that I need right now. So I'm putting these in real quick. Real quick like. I ain't. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this next part. What we're going to do We'll come back right after I screw all these screws into all... There's going to be 16 of them done. You know how to twist a frickin' screwdriver. It's a film screwdriver. We're coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.